and welcome back to The Daily Poem here on the Close Reads Podcast Network. I'm David Kern. Today's poem is brought to you by a famous Bohemian Austrian poet named, and I'm going to try to not butcher his name here, Rainer Maria Rilke. He lived from 1875 to 1926, and he wrote primarily in German and French. And he has a fairly well-known poem called Autumn Day or Day in Autumn, depending on which translation you look at. And autumn now being upon us, it seemed the appropriate time to uh, offer you this poem here on The Daily Poem. I'm going to read a couple of different translations. Because he wrote in German, this particular poem was written in German, um, I'm going to read a couple of different translations, um, and then you'll be able to see some of the differences. Normally I'd read the poem... Uh, twice, but today I'll read a couple different translations of this, and you can see how translators made uh, some interesting choices. And if you'd like to, you can go to, uh, a, well, you can just Google uh, this poem and pretty easily find comparisons. Uh, but you'll see how a different poem, uh, different poets played even with the um, the verse and the way the where the lines end and how he, how the lines cut off and the meter and those different sorts of things in in how they're um, in how they're presenting their translations. This first translation is by Galway Kennel and Hannah Liebman in The Essential Rilke. This is Autumn Day by Rainer Maria Rilke. Lord, it is time. The summer was immense. Lay your shadow on the sundials and let loose the wind in the fields. Bid the last fruits to be full. Give them another two more southerly days. Press them to ripeness and chase the last sweetness into the heavy wine. Whoever has no house now will not build one any more. Whoever is alone now will remain so for a long time, and will stay up, read, write long letters, and wander the avenues up and down restlessly while the leaves are blowing. This next translation is by William Gass and comes from Reading Rilke, Reflections on the Problem of Translation. And you'll notice uh, some, some subtle differences in this one, I think. Lord, it is time. The summer was too long. Lay your shadow on the sundials now and through the meadow let the winds throng. Ask the last fruits to ripen on the vine. Give them further two more summer days to bring about perfection and to raise the final sweetness in the heavy wine. Whoever has no house now will establish none. Whoever lives alone now will live on long alone, will waken, read, and write long letters, wander up and down the barren paths the parks expose when the leaves are blown. This next one is translated by Stephen Mitchell from The Selected Poetry of Rainer Maria Rilke. Lord, it is time. The huge summer has gone by. Now overlap the sundials with your shadows, and on the meadows let the wind go free. Command the fruits to swell on tree and vine. Grant them a few more warm, transparent days. Urge them on to fulfillment then, and press the final sweetness into the heavy wine. Whoever has no house now will never have one. Whoever is alone will stay alone, will sit, read, write long letters through the evening, and wander the boulevards up and down, restlessly, while the dry leaves are blowing. And this final translation is by John Logan in homage to Rainer Maria Rilke. Lord, it is time now, for the summer has gone on and gone on. Lay your shadow along the sundials, and in the field let the great wind blow free. Command the last fruit be ripe. Let it bow down the vine, with perhaps two sun-warm days more to force the last sweetness in the heavy wine. He who has no home will not build one now. He who is alone will stay long alone, will wake up, read, write long letters, and walk in the streets, walk by in the streets when the leaves blow. And uh, you can find this in the German pretty easily online, but I'm not even going to try that. That's not a language that I am in any way capable (laughs) of reading. Um, Living here in North Carolina, where we've had 70 plus days and 90 degrees this year, I think that's the second most ever, I think I read, and um, something like 35 more such days than last year, I can attest to the fact that we are ready for the the end of an intensely immense summer. So this is a poem that 
um, it hits close to home and um, we are ready for <laughs> the, the, the winds to throng through the meadows um, for the winds to blow free. Um, I'm sure that many of you are feeling the same way. So I hope this poem rings true for you as it does for me. Thank you for listening to The Daily Poem. I'll be back tomorrow with another episode. Thank you.